The oldest ancestor of dolphins that we know of is the Pachycetidae. This was a hoofed animal that is believed to have lived 53 million years ago. They have legs and short hands and feet, which lead us to believe that they were not able to swim. Their teeth look something like the teeth found in fossil whales. Their bones were really thick and probably enabled them to float on water instead of having to swim underneath the ocean. Ambulocetidae were the next known ancestors of the dolphin and looked a little like a crocodile. They lived 48 million years ago and were able to swim in water and also walk on land due to their, due to their long limbs and tail. It is believed that they were not very good at swimming or walking. The Remington Cetidae is said to have lived around 43 and 49 million years ago. They swam in shallow waters and didn't need fresh water to survive. Next, Protocetidae were the first to leave the Indian subcontinent and live in all shallow, shallow ocean waters. They lived 48 million to 35 million years ago and their nasals were large and located halfway up their snout. Due to their large eyes, they could detect prey underwater a lot easier than ever before. Their limbs were not that useful for swimming, and the flukes they may or may not have had are still used by modern day whales today. Plosaurdi and the Durodontini existed 41 to 35 million years ago and were as big as some modern day whales. They only lived in the water like today's whales, but they didn't have a lot of the same characteristics as our whales, though their skeletons looked very similar. Next are the Mysticeti or baleen whale. They are very large, but can still jump out of water to attract mates and have two blowholes. Although they arose millions of years ago, they are still around today. Lastly, dolphins appeared, and they begin to be found in coastal waters and range from 40 to 30 feet in length. Because of the cold environment, the mammals had to get bigger to get protection against predators. This is why they needed blowholes and a thick skin. They also needed to have blowholes at the top of their head to make it easier for them to breathe. They developed better echolocation in order to hear better and navigate their environment. All we know for sure is that the cold weather and the unknown environmental changes cause the species to change and adapt to their new environment. Natural selection in this specific species took place when animals that were better equipped to swim and live in the water, which they discovered was a better way for them to live because there was more access to prey and other such necessities. Um, were the ones that continued on to reproduce and pass on the traits of being able to swim better along to further generations, which ultimately turned the entire species into aquatic-based species. The end result of this evolution chain is a dolphin. Their family tree is vast and long and is a good example of how species evolve over millions of years and of ancestors that with an untrained eye seem to be a completely different species. Understanding evolution helps us fully grasp our world and the species that live in it. Evolution impacts our lives because without it, many species would likely be extinct because ad adaptation helps the organisms of our world survive and reproduce in the constantly changing environment. Evolution can influence the way we treat other species in our own environment. Because if a species can't change fast enough, they will die out, and if we keep destroying our own environment, we, not, we might not be able to adapt to our surroundings fast enough.